this is Deepa Suresh. Welcome back. And today we are going to see how to apply henna paste on your hair without any mess. And in my previous video, I post how to prepare henna hair mask using a deep conditioning natural ingredients like amla juice, um, milk, egg, etc. So if you are interested to know how to prepare henna uh -huh. mask at home, kindly click on the video shown here or you may click on the eye icon on top left corner of this video and now we will see how to apply a henna hair mask on your hair so here goes the video you will need old t-shirt because this henna always leaves stain on whatever it exposes. so to avoid it it's good idea to wear a old t-shirt use and throw gloves Plain water in a spray bottle, homemade henna paste and a brush. Just before you start applying henna paste to your hair, remember to change your t-shirt because you don't want to spoil them. Now spray in plain water all over your hair. This step we are doing for easy sectioning of hair while applying henna. Now comb it well to ensure that water is distributed evenly all over your hair and you may spray in some more water until you are sure that your hair is slightly wet. So don't wet your hair too much, it should be damp, wet, I mean it should be slightly wet. So it should look something like this. Now wear your gloves uh, because you don't want this henna to stain your hands and if you are using the brush this step is optional. Take small strand of hair at the middle part of your head that is at crown area and apply henna focusing on the root first. So once you are done applying on hair root gradually apply this henna paste throughout your hair till the end it is must that you have to apply your henna paste from the root till the end once you are done with it twist your hair and fold it to make a bun like this now take small amount of henna paste and apply over this bun to stick it properly because uh, we are going to add next hair strand over this created bun and uh, we will be leaving this mask for uh, 5 to 6 hours. So when this uh, created bun is properly applied with the henna paste, the next hair strand you are going to add will stick properly and uh, that way it will stay and stick uh, for a long time without falling off. Otherwise it may fall off in between. So now take next hair strand at middle part of your head on right side and start applying hair now in the same way as I explained earlier that is uh, starting from the root till end of your hair twist your hair and fold it to make a bun and you have to keep on adding the hair strand over the uh, first bun that we created so I'm going to take a same hair strand on left side Apply henna and fold it to a bun. So also remember to apply henna paste over the created bun. That way the next hair strand will stick properly. Now I am going to take next hair strand just below the previous hair strand that I applied henna. And do the same procedure. The same hair strand on left side and apply henna and fold it to make a bun. And next take next hair strand on right side just below the previous one and do the same on left. So now we have covered up middle part of our hair and now we will proceed with applying front part of our head. So just take a small section of hair at front and apply the henna 
fold it to make a bun you next take hair strand just below the previous one and you may take the next hair strand at the front so do the same way on uh, left side as well So once you are done applying at front part of your head, now proceed back. So I took a small section of head just below the bun and apply henna. So you may first proceed with the left side and then take a next hair strand near to it. So gradually move on the same way to the right side like this and now take now proceed to the left side, take a hair strand just before the previous hair strand that you have applied here now and follow the same procedure as you see in this video. So we have finally done applying henna paste to your hair and if you have any leftover henna paste you may apply over this. Uh, created bun so that they will stick properly without falling off in between and if you have any henna exposed to your neck or ear or even on your forehead remember to wipe it off with a wet towel or a wet tissue otherwise it will leave a stain on your skin that lasts for up to uh, one week this is how your hair looks after you have applied a henna paste we are done applying henna paste without any mess going to leave this mask uh, for at least 5 to 6 hours so if you prefer you can cover this mask with some shower cap or cling wrap or even with a uh, normal plastic cover uh, but generally I don't do it because if I cover it with something it takes a lot of time to dry up so if my hair is uh, wet for a long time I feel like uh, it caused some headache to me so I don't cover it with anything I just leave it as it is for five to six hours and later then you can shower your hair with a uh, normal water don't use a uh, hot water just use a uh, lukewarm water uh, to wash your hair and don't shampoo your hair or condition just wash away and you can shampoo your hair after two days and um, this mask is really great to eliminate any dry or frizziness on your hair uh, and uh, number two is it soften and make your hair looks really uh, silky and something like a velvety and uh, you can feel the change when you apply this mask for the first time itself so to see a gradual change on your hair growth you can apply this mask two weeks or three weeks once on regular basis and also uh, when you apply this mask regularly it definitely shows changes on your hair it improves your hair growth it reduces hair loss as well so, so you have a lot of benefits applying this herbal hair mask it just took a 20 minutes to apply to your hair so spending just 20 minutes for every two weeks is not a big deal and beautiful let me know if you have any queries in the comment section down below this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel remember to subscribe so that you can enjoy more natural beauty tips in future and uh, thank you so much for watching my video and i will catch you guys soon with another interesting video bye bye and uh